and this is found in the music, in the dress, in the clothing, in the bazaar. It's almost as if one were sensory hungry, and that the hunger somehow in suburbia was not met. And it is my very definite opinion that until we find modalities of stimulating the young mind and body within either the school setting or in the community where they can feel a part of something, where something has meaning, where there's feedback from, say, adult to youth and youth to adult, that we're going to be missing the boat in any educational program. Where did this need for stimulation come from? I think it joins a little bit more strong and more team because... Well, some people, Martini, can uh, really smell fine, but it's a uh, joint. usually always takes you hot, gets you high, and a Martini, you just feel a little bit better. You don't really get to the point where you can't drive a car or anything. Well, the doctor says you recommend like a glass of wine or a small drink when you come home to relax, but no one does it when you just relax. One joint wouldn't do all that much <laughs> I think if you just want to relax a little bit, that's why a lot of people smoke. Just relax yourself a little bit. I, you know, I don't say if you're disgusted, go home and get stoned, you know. That, that's not the idea. But I think some people drink socially, they call it. But I think a lot of adults drink just because drinks are going around. They're really not much different than uh, teenagers. I don't think so. drugs taken are simply for the hallucinogenic effect. They can take downers or uppers or middlers. In any case, the need for stimulation, sensory stimulation, is obviously manifest in their non-drug behavior. Well, I, I think that uh, there are actually two, two ways in which amphetamines uh, in particular may be uh, misused or abused. Uh, perhaps the largest single group of uh, drug abusers or misusers are, are housewives and truck drivers and professional people who, who use um, amphetamines for reasons uh, other than weight loss or uh, as antidepressants or treatment of narcolepsy. There's a lot of people who mess with reds in the community but they usually, you know, take them at night, you know, at parties when they're ready to go to parties. Young brothers and sisters, you know, smoking weed all day, you know, at school, you know, at night, you know, and just about wherever I go, you know, but usually in the daytime, it's only a small minority of black people, black young people, you know, they were, they were smoking marijuana. Marijuana, uh, I believe if people want to use it, you know, if they, if they don't get high. I guess I'm just the type of person, you know, I don't like to get in no kind of position where I can't, you know, play properly. When something take effect on me that I don't understand, it's, it's a feeling, you know, I just can't stand it. I tried it, you know, but I don't know what it seemed like I couldn't come back to myself right then. I guess I wasn't used to it, but I was kind of scared of it. solution.